Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Trix, aka Nico. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about dungeons, in particular about the dungeon class system. Ever since it was announced, I was fascinated with how people were preparing for something they couldn't wait to play. And if you're like me, you're probably wondering what exactly to prepare for, except for grinding skills, which is, for example, perfectly represented by Max's road to level 50 in every single skill. And to answer exactly that question, we're now going to take a look at the Berserker class. The Berserk is a class that might be also known as a knight or a warrior in other games. He represents the damage dealer of the team, but he also got enough health to sustain himself if he goes into battle. His kit represents this pretty great, with a starting stat boost of 30 damage and 30 speed, which is basically the equivalent of a weird tuba effect, except you exchange the strength with damage and it's also permanent. On top of that, you have the passive, which gives you a damage boost of 20%, as well as lifesteal for 5 seconds after you kill the monster. This greatly enhances the sustainability of the Berserk, especially since it's a passive and you don't even have to activate it. The Dungeon Orb ability of the Berserk features a throwing axe, which is basically exactly that, an axe that gets thrown and deals damage, and for his ultimate you got Ragnarok, which summons three baby zombies that will fight for you. It's kind of a changed up Reaper Scythe effect. Lastly, whenever you're dead, or you gain the buff potion, which is actually just a regular strength pot that adds 30 strength to your teammates, which again just represents the weird tuba effect, but this time without the speed. And the last ability is the ghost axe, which is again just a throwing axe, but this time the damage scales off of your burster club. So now that we know what the class brings along, let's take a look at how you might actually prepare for it. Before we go on, I really quickly have to say that everything that follows is going to be based on the current game standards, therefore it might change in ways that I obviously can't predict at the moment. Oh yeah, and since I totally forgot to include this, the Dungeoneering skill is a newly implemented skill that firstly introduces sub-skills. These sub-skills will include all skills for each class as well as for each dungeon, like for example the Catacombs, which right now is the only one. These skills are for you to level them and get better abilities whilst playing that selected dungeon or class, for example here, the Berserk. With that said, I will also not include already leaked or shown dungeon gear as this should help you prepare and you can't really do that if it's unavailable content that I'm talking about. So starting out as we already established, the Berserk represents the damage dealer, who also wants to have a lot of sustain since the mobs in the dungeons tend to target exactly that, the person with the most damage. Therefore not only damage, which is achieved with the foraging and the combat skill is important, but also health and defense to not instantly go down if you enter a fight. This makes the Berserk probably one of the harder classes to prepare for, since it covers a lot of areas. But if we take a look at the armor, we can see that I chose the Frozen Blaze set as well as the Superior set. These sets are probably the best in this scenario, since they bring a lot of damage with them, but you don't instantly go down if something attacks you, unlike the Elegant Tuxedo for example. After that, I would combine these sets with either one of these shown pets. The Ender Dragon probably isn't the perfect fit for dungeons, but it's great for damage dealing, so combined with an aspect of the dragons, it still is a pretty strong combination. The pet items that I chose are also only representing the current situation, since I believe that they will add a lot of variety in the future to make pets fit even better with the equipment you're running. I wouldn't want to give a rating on which pet is the best, since certain combinations make pets obviously stronger. An example for that would probably be the Frozen Blaze Armor with the Blaze Pet, which isn't bad without the armor, but obviously it's not at its peak. But I believe that pets have their own strengths and weaknesses. The best example would be the Wither Skeleton Pet, which seems like a very good option, since its third ability, called Death's Touch, adds a Wither effect with 200% of your damage over 3 seconds, as well as a damage boost against Wither mobs, and you also take less damage from Skeletons, which seems to support the sustainability part of the class even further. And for equipment, you should probably just aim towards any endgame sword. And a weird tuba, which I mentioned a couple of times already, which will support your damage even further. So to sum it all up, the Berserk class is going to be a class that you can prepare for in a lot of different ways. The damage part in the class is probably the biggest aspect, but it's not just about that. Since, like I already said, I didn't include any already shown or leaked items, I would not advise to spend all your money on buying exactly what is shown on screen right now if you can't afford it. 
This is just a prediction of what I think is going to be a top tier starter for the Berserk class, since it's not only confirmed by the admins, but I've already seen a lot of it myself. The dungeon armor sets are probably going to be a big, if not the biggest part, especially in the higher tier floors of dungeons. Therefore, if you want to prepare for a class, it's good to get a look of a path you could choose to, to follow, but you don't have to strictly follow it since there is going to be a lot of new content coming out that we might not even know of at the moment. So if this helped you out and you want to take a better look at the images yourself, I link them down below as I posted them on my website for a better overview. If you have any questions or ideas on either changes or want to share your opinion, feel free to follow me on Twitter or join my Discord, which is also both linked down below. And if you enjoyed the video, I would obviously appreciate a like, since this was a lot of work and it would obviously show me that you would want to see more of this content. To keep up, you can also subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell to always get notified as soon as I upload. And since the video is a five part series and I want to keep them coming at an actual upload schedule, you'll see them coming out every other day from now on. I hope I'll see you on the next one and since this is basically it, thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.